All right, guys. Welcome to the Roller Dome. Welcome back to the Roller Dome, I should say. As the cross promotion Gold Coast Lady Rollers and Men's Rollers welcome into town tonight the UFC Rip City. It's been quite a successful couple of weeks for the Rollers. Both teams getting quality wins on the road last weekend. Doing that doomsday double going up north. Men splitting both the games. And I think the girls split the games as well, I think, didn't they? <laughs> oh, no, Till, what are you doing? Yeah, we're six minutes away from tip-off here. US, USC Rip City. The only player I recognize on that lineup is Bianca. <laughs> Bianca Abbott, as she uh, was a former Gold Coast roller. Might have even been a Goanna at that time. Yeah, 
Three, two, one, two. Stop, stop. Rip City, number one, the Chiefs are all the same. Three, Kisha Lee. Two, Pia, Bianca, McDonald, seven, Bianca, Abbott, and ten, Yasmin Miller, and Darcy, Condon, and twelve. Actually, actually, Blake. Third end, Shivana, Pulvis, twenty, and Chloe Coughlin, twenty-four. And for the Rollers, Susanna Walton, two, Sarah Ambrose, three, Christine Obermeyer, four, Sian Woods, by Hallie Booker, Hallie Brooker in six, Casey Walker in seven, Lauren Scully ten, Nia Morris twelve, Carly Patrick thirteen, Ariana Mora, fifteen, Chanel Tolu from two, Jacqueline Luke Castro in twenty four. So, Jim, you have to say that uh, I feel like the Yokos of Lady Rollers here will be heavy favourites. Well, based off recent form, I think they're exceeding everyone's expectations this year. That's probably more based on the fact that the last few seasons they've really struggled to get above 500 in the win column and they've made them four already. That's a uh, that's a better record than we've seen in at least the last three seasons. Two, two. All right, Till, so two minutes till tip off. What's your prediction for tonight, mate? I, uh, you want a prediction? I want a prediction. I want the uh, soothsayer to go into his bag of tricks. And uh, Well, I'm just reading here, US, USC had a uh, comfortable win over Toowoomba, but that was last, last week. So they're coming off a 20-point win there. The Rollers, they had a, oh, is this the, yeah, that's the women. They have a one-point win against Eastwood Four. Yeah, and last done. week, yeah. Yeah, and then the ten-point win over the Phoenix, so. Yeah, look, 
I love how the Lady Rollers play D. So if they can keep the intensity that they've oh, shown all season, uh, they'll go well on the way to taking the W. We're about to find out. What's your what's your call? Yeah, I, I think the Lady Rose Rollers go into this heavy favourites in form and uh, definitely look like the one of the teams to beat in the women's QBL, which, you know, at the start of the season, you definitely would not have thought that's the case. But credit to Joel, Jimmy, and the Gold Coast basketball crew, and particularly Coach Cassie Dover. He's done a great job with the girls. Yeah, well, first year for Coach Dover, so, wow. Because <laughs> really, the role is like, the first week out, they were really undersized against Mackay, but Mackay have two twin towers, really. And so that was a yeah, tough first hit out, but they were in that game and they've been in every other game too. So yeah, they're playing uh, taller than they are. And I love the full court D. I, I'm, I'm happy to harp on about that all night. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, I love a bit of full court pressure. And uh, when you've got a lot of guards, you might as well extend it. But we're about to get, get underway here. We are. Yeah, and so, like the commentator just said, it's been four weeks, till since we've been at the Roller Dome. Very, very excited to be back here. As we got tip off here, here get things underway and rip city win the tip so they're going to run a flex by the looks of things gold coast dealt with it pretty well there but nice three over the defense so that was a confident start for Talia in USC see what Gold Coast can answer with first set straight to Castro nice turnaround in rhythm but it's a bit long USC looking to break oh tough pass but it got through oh just overcooked it yeah Mr. Chippy there Ariana, straight by, too easy. Oh, you gotta love that. Straight down the middle. She's really added another wrinkle to the, uh, the Lady Rollers and their uh, offense. Brings a calmness and a professionalism that uh, I think, you know, we haven't seen from a Lady Rollers team for a long time. Oh, Ooh, nice backdoor cut there. Former Lady Roller Bianca Abbott out there playing for USC. He's been up there for a few years. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that was a nice little cut, but Ariana, we've got a fingertip to it. Yeah, now she's got a solid handle on her, Ariana. Helps to mitigate the pressure. That one's a bit long. Jumps out and Wormsley. Oh, Wormsley. She's going to end up at the line here, but no one decided to pick her up. Yeah, no one picked up the ball. <laughs> Fundamental mistake there by USC, and uh, that'll see Susanna Wormsley, another lady roller who's been in great form, go the line for two. Oh, man, she was cooking last time we were here, I think. Was that last game? Was that the game before? Was it North Gold Coast the last time we were here? Yeah, I think it was. No, no, sorry, Logan. North oh, Gold yeah, Coast was yeah, the game before. Right. But, uh, you know, she's been in fine form for the Lady Rollers. Missing two there, though, unfortunately. Oh, a nice little crossover there. Splitting the double step to through. the step through. Finish with the left. That was a nice finish. Oh, Ariana lost 
the handle. A little bit sloppy there. Good recovery. Good numbers here. Ambrose for three. Front iron. Oh, good hands from Sian. Staying with it. Great job. Great hustle. Sian Woods. Getting the Lady Rollers another possession. Offensive boards killing USC at the moment. You can't give this team two or three possessions, mate. They're going to kill you. Yeah, man, a foul on the box out there. So, still Lady Rollers ball with another 14. So, a couple of good looks. Probably just rushing them early on in the game. Get, break that sweat. Oh. Ariana clearing out. Was that an offensive foul, was it? It's going to get called for an offensive there. Did swipe away with the offhand. Probably, probably feels a little hard done by there, but, you know, referee setting the tone early. USC into the front court now. Oh, spending a lot of time in that lane. Oh, Off the hustle, Sian. She's been everywhere in this first quarter. Oh, nice catch from Castro. A little hand in there. Couldn't get the shot up. You just see the confidence the Lady Rollers are playing with. You can tell they've been in good form. Yeah, everyone's a threat at the moment, which is good. Five players <coughs> that are at least willing to square up to the hoop makes it very hard to play defense against. So, cross court pass there by Bianca Abbott. Oh. Great defense by Luna Castro. Yeah, moved her feet well there. She did. Rollers come away with it. Oh, great pass. I'll tell you what, if the uh, USC Rip City girls don't don't start boxing out, it's going to be a long night for them. Keisha Reed, nice finish down off the block there. A slight mismatch, but 7-2. Yeah, USC. Rollers have had all the shots, but they're not converting. It's another three, so oh, that one goes down for Ariana. Back to a two-point game. As the crowd slowly filing into the roller dome for this Friday night clash, QBL. USC got some nice looks to the cutters so far. Gold Coast might want to. Oh, as Walmsley. Good right. first step there. <laughs> All the way without a contest. And that Lays ties it, it up. Just on five minutes to go in this first quarter. Rolls definitely uh, have the momentum. A lot of offensive rebounds. USC girls will want to get that under control. Ooh. Nice move there by Bianca Abbott. And just like that, the USC coach up off the bench looking for a timeout. It's a great take there. Sort of just got that hesitation and took the contact. Yeah, I like this. Uh, the thing with uh, when you go on the road, it can really fortify what you're doing. And everyone's playing with a lot of, there's a lot of confidence in the group of the, the lady rollers in. And, and in saying that, USC have made some nice cuts down the other end and, and do have the two point lead. but. We got four quarters of this. We do. <laughs> and then we got the men's game. <laughs> Where else would you want to be on a Friday night, Till? And of course, oh, yes. this wonderful yeah. QBL action here on the Gold Coast couldn't be brought, wouldn't be possible to be brought to you without our sponsors. Obviously, the naming rights sponsor, Cross Promotions. Big shout out to them. 
you know, Q-Scan Radiology Clinic, Stick Fox Dunn, Legasic, Makers of Fine Jewelry. Get down there and one of their three stores on the Gold Coast. Get, some, get yourself some fine jewelry. MG, Southport, QEM. Can't forget Sony. Don't forget Sony. Yeah. Big day providing us with the equipment to get the job done. So exciting first quarter here in the Roller Dome. Dave's got, he's like the Pied Piper down there. He's got a whole box full of kids. He Spider does. <laughs> Bringing in those uh, speakers. Whatever brings him in the door. Oh, knocks down the first. Can't hit the second. Sort of flat shot there off the front of the rim. The Lady Rollers clean up the up the glass and Sean Woods moves into the front court. Just see how crisp the Lady Rollers are. And Walmsley. Luna Castro got steamrolled there on the screen, but she did her job and Walmsley had with a wide open three and knocked it down. Confidence just oozing out of the Lady Rollers. It's good to see. You know, they're, they're playing with confidence. They're playing loose. They're playing hard, getting after it. And I'll tell you what, if I was the rest of the women's teams in the QBL, I would not want to be seeing that green uniform come playoff time. Yeah, that's off for Castro. Oh, I totally agree with you. Oh, Sian almost hit her in the nose. Cross-court pass. But... You know, if, the, if you're the USC coach, you've got to be happy. You're, you're only down two. You sort of watching the game, you feel like the momentum's all with uh, the Lady Rollers. Yeah, a couple of out of rhythm shots there for uh, Keisha Lee. And that's going to release the Rollers. There's more. Uh, oh, she had a hand on that, but couldn't come up with it. It's just the relentless pressure. See the D, it's like no easy catches. As soon as they catch you, right up in the pocket. And that's a, another force kind of shot out of rhythm for... Yeah, drew, drew nothing but backboard. And Lady Roller, Sian Woods, she'll try three of her own and that's nothing but net. And that's... This is what the Lady Rollers want to do, <laughs> is just play at their intensity, at their pressure. And, Oh, they're just wearing other teams down by the looks of it. Yeah, and you know when they're hitting threes like that, you definitely don't want to be giving up, giving up offensive rebounds. As Bianca Abbott with a turnaround shot on the baseline, that's that's her bread and butter down there. Yeah, well, anytime she's got the smaller Sian Woods, I think that's uh, an option that USC want to look to. Is Mora tries again from deep. That one's short. Oh, 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 that's a nice little. That was a nice little fadeaway. Yeah, a little hooky. Is that uh, so both coaches? Oh, nice fake again from Walmsley. Up strong, couldn't make it. Cleaned up by Keisha. And that's a nice pass. Oh, good hands from uh, Sian. And yet, off the leg. It's going to be Gold Coast ball. Yeah, that was a great. Yeah, so first subs in here for uh, for both teams, actually. Carly Patrick in for Ariana Mora. Well. Carly Patrick's another one who's been a uh, wonderful addition to the Lady Rollers. Yeah, good athleticism. Can handle the ball. Oh, penetration off the curl. That's, that was crisp offense right there. Hey? That was crisp. Couldn't draw that one up any better. That was that was beautiful. Yeah, starting to frustrate USC. Starting to, the defensive intensity of the Lady Rollers and this ta Talia. Payer just knocks that three down. 
Tian. Around the back pass to Ambrose. That's two in a row for Ambrose. She loves that mid range. Oh. It's going to be a foul on Ambrose, but. I don't really know what else she could have done in that instance. So 41 seconds left in the first quarter here. Rollers leading by five. Good defense there. Not quite getting a result to get the ball back, but you know. Like you just said, frustrating that USC team. And yeah, just constantly. Constant pressure. Forcing them out of their spots. Happy to switch. Oh, that's a nice kick out to the corner. And a knock down there for Shivana. I hope you're still saying that name right. <laughs> and you, look, you'd have to say that the Ro Lady Rollers have had all, had all the momentum and... I think if you're the coach of USC and you go in down five or maybe even less, you'll be pretty happy with that. Bianca Abbott on the baseline. A little short on the front iron there. Sean Woods with a good box out. Nice fake. Good, good brand of basketball. Great brand of basketball. Actually, the last, when I, was I was thinking on the way here. Here's a, an insight into my drive here. I actually like preferring to watch the Lady Rollers play just because of the brand of basketball they're playing. Is it's a it's a good team team style of basketball where it's all five players are contributing on the court. Yeah, they're, they're passing the ball well. Like I said, you can see the confidence oozing out of the Lady Rollers, the way they're playing, you know, the energy, the enthusiasm, you know, that that's what happens when you string a couple of wins together. Here's a question for you. Is confidence even real? Well, I believe it is. I, I so think what happens, though, when you shoot? Is it the fact that there's no tension in your body? Is that confidence? Like when well, we say it's the, the team's playing loose, is that a sign of confidence? Tell me something, Till, that you do better being uptight and nervous than you exactly. do when you're relaxed. Exactly. Because personally, I can't think of anything. <laughs> yeah, even standing upright is, it's a, yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much here. I could go on all night. <laughs> could go on all night. But there we, there we have it, mate. Rollers, Lady Rollers, five point lead at the end of the first quarter as we see some of the USC Rip City men's coming in. Jerron Jameson, import for the North Coast Seahawks last year. Obviously, he's made the trip two hours up north. He'll be a man to watch later. Super athletic. Put up some gr really good numbers for the North Coast Seahawks last year. And he'll definitely be a focal point for the Rollers defense later on tonight. Let's see what the coaches have discussed over the quarter break. Any changes that they might implement? Well, I think if you're the uh, if you're the Rip City coach, you've got to you've got to talk about boxing out. I think you gave up way too many offensive rebounds in that first quarter, and you can't give good teams second shots. Charlie Patrick wheeling and dealing there in the lane. Yeah, tough finish. She kind of got stuck there, but was able to get herself out of trouble by a nice little banker. I've noticed that the uh, Lady Rollers seem to, to hedge their, their man towards the baseline. And just like that, someone penetrates middle, but for the most part, they seem to be hedging into the baseline, into the help defense. Yeah, it's got extra defender, isn't it? Yeah, and... Wormsley in the corner. Don't leave Wormsley open. Wow, just, just like that, we've got a 10-point game. 
shooting a high clip from both teams, really, from behind the arc. There's the answer. No, it's short. Yeah. I'll Castro cleans it up. Castro must have uh, six or seven boards already in this game. Yeah, she got that Windex out. Oh, Ambrose gets in on the act. I said she liked the mid-range. She's showing me she's got that deep three as well. And I think uh, Gold Coast Rollers men's superstar, Reese Martin, liked that one. Shy little smile there from Reese. Watching this game. Cassie Dover looks pretty happy too. Yanka Abbott been in the key for a good 45 seconds there. But Warms a good box out there, wasn't it? Lady Rollers running. You can just see, I keep saying it, confidence oozing out of them. I just love the way they're playing right now. Oh, get off me. It's going to be on Patrick, that one. Oh. It's more concerned with the reaction. It will be USC ball from the side. Gold Coast just happy to hand off a oh, nice shot from Tali. No one's going to guard Mora. She's going <laughs> to knock it down as well. It's an easy game, isn't it? Just throw it up there, it goes in. Uh, it was never that easy for me till, unless oh, it was a hook like shot. So the Rollers have put up 35 in, what, 13 minutes. And that's a sub in there. Yasmin Miller. Nice little baseline jump shot. I'll tell you what, I'd love to see the percentages of, I'm sure, I feel like they're both shooting about 60%. Carly Patrick's got to line one up. Why not? That one's short, Ambrose, nice work on the offensive glass there. And that's that, that hustle there, Tilb. You know that, again, poor boxing out for Rip City really probably is the difference in the game right now, isn't it? Those extra possessions. Yeah, well. More that's short. Oh. So 35-24, 11 point buffer. Gold Coast extended it early here by six. Interestingly though, uh, Cassie Dover's not, not played. I played her starters and, and obviously Patrick coming off the bench. You know. Yeah, Wormsley throughout the season, I think, seen her play a few 40 minute games, so. Uh, She's first over, happy to go the distance with Wormsley. And mm. Oh, good, good hands there from Mora, digging in on the high post, and that's a kick out. Oh, I thought, like everything else, that was going in. But you like the way they're playing, though, don't you? It's it's confident. It's well, he. I actually have an answer to what confidence is. Successful oh. repetitions. Good drive there from uh, Shivana. As I carry on about that 40 minute game, Wormsley takes a rest. Naya Morris. Naya Morris, yeah. First action Getting some born. Burn. At least at the roller dome. Checking in for Ariana. That might have been her second foul. Yeah, I think it was. Probably a little hard done by there. Moving her feet, had her hands up. Knocks down both of them. So, the clock hasn't started for some reason. Our clock has. So, with Walmsley and Ariana, the bulk of the ball handling will be in Sian's 
hands here. I'd like to see Luna Castro get going here. She has been the focal point of the offense. Tough That's fade away nice in the lane around. there. USC run out with the board. Poor pass. And that's those turnovers again. If you're USC, you can't really afford. Yeah, looking to be aggressive is uh, Shibana. But probably just nice little backdoor cut oh, there. Carly Patrick. <laughs> Sean Woods again. Just beats everyone to the ball. Oh, Morris in and out. Oh, that's that's tough. So with 540 to go in the second quarter, it's the Lady Rollers 35, Rip City 26. Chanel Tolley coming in. Coming off a season in the US college system. She's a nice little luxury to bring off the bench for Coach Cassie Dover. No, Morris, obviously, same thing. Went to a junior college, played over there. Great experience for those girls. And good way to get your reps up. Yeah, good Good to see them back in the, the, the rollers uniform and playing for Gold Coast. All right. Yeah, let's see what they can do with some court time here. Look to be, look to be aggressive. Carly Patrick squares up. No hesitation, but fun iron. Front iron, all right. The iron unkind. Oh, good D from Chanel. And they're going to call eight seconds in the backcourt. So. USC coach is not happy about that. Probably has a bit of a uh, case there. Now he's being told to settle down by the referee. Oh, he oh and he's dropped him a... Drop the tee on him. <laughs> the referee was having none of that. Well, he gave him a chance. I don't, yeah. And he still had something to say. In the backcourt that I don't, I'd say he was a little bit unhappy about the contact on the hip, but you know, you've got to let a coach blow off some steam. It's the end of the working week. <laughs> <laughs> So Luna Castro now hits the free throw and then rollers up 10. Nice drive there, Chanel Tolley with the left hand. Can't, can't get the user friendly roll and the Rip City women grab the rebound. Oh, nice little rip through there. Yeah, good uh, heads up play there. Talia Tupeo recognized that Keisha Lee had a somewhat of a mismatch, I guess, but gave her the confidence that she knew the ball was coming. Nice square up, rip through, knocks the first one down. 27-36. Make it 28. So rollers up six. Four minutes 30 to go. She Again. Totally. She Only knows one way. Yeah. Full <laughs> throttle. This was a, there was a blur of red hair and she was past her man into the basket. Foul on the way. She'll head to the foul line. Try and extend this lead back out to 10. She hits the first. Love what I'm seeing from the Lady Rollers. Yeah, can't make the second. Rip City, oh, no. little breakdown communication there, getting an easy one. Cassie Dover won't be happy about that. Oh. Uh, a little bit disjointed here for the Lady Rollers. Probably a five that isn't normally on the court that often together 
So uh, probably good for Sianda to wrestle control back, get a good set. Because that one's long from Keisha Lee. Yeah, the long rebound and Glenn Castro did a good job to grab that. Good boxing out by the Lady Rollers. Sean Woods up the front iron, another long rebound. Carly Patrick grabs it. That's, I'd love to see the stats on the offensive rebounds. The Lady Rollers have been very active on the glass. Linda Castro, a little fade away, a little bit strong. The USC pick up the ball. Good. Oh, I think they're going to get a foul on Luna Castro there. Probably a little unlucky. Yeah, U USC have looked good when they're being aggressive and they've been able to get a couple of opportunities here with some, some broken play where the Gold Coast roller, Lady Rollers aren't back and set, so... Got the lead back down to seven as that first one misses. I still feel like the USC coach is going to be pretty happy where they're at. I don't think that they've done a good job on the defensive glass. They've given up lots of offensive rebounds and they're only down six. I think if, you, if you're the coach of the USC team, you, can, you feel like there's some improvement to be had. Sean nice Woods one launches one, can't hit it. Keisha USC Lee out and running. Away. That's an easy basket. Just like that, Katsy Dover will have a timeout. We've got a four point game here at the Roller Dome. 3.14 to go. USC girls doing enough just to hang in there, hey, Till? Yeah, good sequence there for USC. Lady Rollers kind of settling for the, besides Chanel Tolley, who is always happy to drive. Everyone's kind of settling for threes as the, the offense is kind of breaking down from a little bit. And that's allowed to uh, USC to leak out there and get a couple of cheap ones. Get that back, the lead back to four. Yeah, definitely got to sort out that transition defense if you're Cassie Dover. Of course, all this wonderful QBL action could not be brought to you without all the great sponsors that Gold Coast Basketball has brought on board. Of course, Cross Promotions, the naming rights sponsor of the Rollers and Lady Rollers. QEM, MG Southport, quality handrails. Big shout out to the Never Ever Studios, Dwayne, Sony, Core Physiotherapy, QScan Radiology Clinics, Dick Foster Accountants, and all the Basketball clubs on the Gold Coast Varsity Vipers. United Basketball, Pac Pines Panthers, Celtics, and the Heat. We're back underway. Rollers with possession. Four point game, three minutes to go. Yeah, good set here for the Rollers out of the timeout. Oh. You know, looking for Wormsley. Well, I wasn't expecting that pass. Chanel Tolley's wide open, but Castro. Couldn't see her. She goes to the turnaround and it's short. Yeah, fade away. That was a tough shot. Miss Janelle Tolley wide open under the hoop her man had come and thing. But shot clock running down, you probably forgive Luna Castro for that one. Yeah, Luna Castro hasn't been able to get going just yet. And that's a nice look, but just couldn't stick. Oh, backdoor pass there. It hit the hand. So Lady Rollers, two minutes 30 to go, up four. Chanel Tolley exploring, hands it off to Nia Morris. Nice little nice stop move. and pop from the elbow. That was, that was a nice stop and pop. Push the lead out to six with two minutes to go. Bad luck there, left hand. Interesting they're posting up Sean Woods there. Oh. oh. Yeah, A little bit out of control there, Chanel Toll. It's one of those coach skills. And checking in the game for the first time, 
Christine Obermeyer, former Green Dogs president, <laughs> solid lady roller for the last few years. And uh, got ourselves a good game here, Till. Yeah, good response from USC. They've kind of worked out how to deal with all the switching that the lady rollers do. Oh, nice rebound. Chanel Tolley. Be good to get to a point guard. Oh. We're just a minute 20 left here in the uh, first half. A couple of good sets for the Lady Rollers. They haven't had much continuity in this quarter mm -hmm. after putting up 35 in the first 11 minutes. They've only put four on in the last six. So. Just the Overmire exploring off a pick and roll. I think they're looking to get the ball to Luna Castro. She gets the ball in the elbow. She'll pull up that shot on the front iron. USC with the ball. There's another deflection. This Wormsley comes away with it. Looking for Rollers support. have numbers. Carly Patrick on the baseline. There is no hesitation in any of these lady rollers when it comes to looking at the hoop and man that's a good thing well that's what happens when you, you string a few wins together USC up the front of iron Wormsley pushing oh a oh, little bit unlucky there had numbers Patrick oh one of those USC girls, I think, got a touch there. And it'll be the rollers, ball from the baseline. Probably best to, well, it's 13, 13 seconds on the shot clock. Try and get a good shot here. Nice pass. Sean Woods, baseline. Bad luck, just kind of walked in there, tried to slide her feet. Carly Patrick in the under behind the backboard, but bailed her out with 10 seconds left, so <coughs> should be the last shot here for the Lady Rollers. I think you want to get the ball to Luna Castro or Carly Patrick. Nice pass, backdoor cut, overcooked it on the shot, battle for the rebound, and that'll do it for the first half. And at half time, the Lady Rollers. In front, 41 to Rip City, 33. Uh, again, I think if you're the Rip City coach, you'll be reasonably happy about it. There's a lot they can improve. Lady Rollers getting plenty of shots. Offense kind of dried up there in that second quarter, like you said, after putting, what was it, 35 on in the first 11, 12 minutes. Second half of that second quarter really dried up. Yeah, some good adjustments there from USC on the fly uh, to deal with the Lady Rollers D. And then at the other end, they're able to yeah, halt the flow of scoring. So I know Luna Castro, she's going to be a little bit frustrated at this point of the proceedings. She's um, haven't been able to get much. Much the fall. Number two, Gracie, and number 13, Nicar. That's a great team ahead, coach, for 10. Yeah. And the Irons take it up at number 12, Charlene. We'll uh, have a break here. Number 15, Holly. Number 16, Lucy. Number 11, Summer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, All right, and we'll be back with the second half action. About 15 minutes time. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Thanks, guys.
three, two, one, two. And welcome back to the Roller Dome. Half time here of the women's game. And the Lady Rollers holding a nice eight point advantage. Competitive first half. Both teams getting after it, getting up and down. Uh, Lady Rollers doing some work on the offensive glass. And I'm sure that's been addressed by the USC women's coach at half time. Some stats. Just bring in some stats for you all. So the leading scorers for both teams got to up a for USC with 12, Lee with eight, and Palvast with seven. The Lady Rollers, pretty good all around scoring for everyone. Mora's got nine, Worms the eight, Ambrose seven. Luna Castro doing some damage on the glass. She's got eight rebounds at halftime. Worms with four. Luna Castro's also got four assists and for UFC Lee. Working hard on the glass. She's got six rebounds. Abbott's got five. So super competitive game. Lady Rollers shooting the ball well from the three-point line at almost 40% till eight for 21. Yeah, it was it was uh it's a competitive first half. It looks like it's a it's a good all-round performance by everyone. Yeah, pretty balanced attack there just bring up the whole box what score we, here yeah, what do we got with uh, Luna Castro because she looks like she is struggling here one of ten for Luna Castro so uh, let's see how she responds I think the rest of the team because it is quite a balanced attack kind of propping up her night at the moment did play the full 20 though that's it that's a great sign though with one of your stars is having an off night Everyone else picks up the slack, and uh, yeah, early on in the season, if uh, Luna Castro was going one for ten, that uh, would have been a dire sign. So <laughs> that's a that's definitely a positive thing. And and yeah, this far into the season, you'd hope that everyone was a little bit more fortified in what they are doing out there. So. That's the second time you've dropped fortify on did me Did I say that earlier? You did. Far out. I like that word tonight. Yeah, you're fortifying. Look out for it later. You're fortifying <laughs> your use of fortify. Uh, I've been in that thesaurus lately. <laughs> looking for fortify. The truth bringing out the thesaurus <laughs> on a Friday night here at the Roller Dome. Where else would you want to be? Shift F7. Solid solid crowd is coming in, coming in in the second half of the ladies' game. A few more stats here. Bianca Abbott, four points, five rebounds. Lee's got eight and six. Tiopo, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Topair, 12 points, four rebounds. As we are uh, joined in the commentary box by the one and only former Gold Coast Warrior, Roller. And now sponsor of the QBL Gold Coast Cross Promotion Men's Rollers, David Finley. Dave, how you doing on this Friday night, mate? Good, mate. Good. Thanks for having me. It's Good exciting. Game. Good yeah. game. You're enjoying the Lady Rollers, mate? They look like they're playing really well. Of course, this wonderful QBL action couldn't be brought to you without all the sponsors out there. The one and only Cross Promotions, name and right sponsor of the Rollers and Lady Rollers, QScan Radiology Clinics, Dick Foss Dunn Accountants, not forgetting Prestige, AV Group, and the Apex Agency, Treadman and all the boys. Good on you, boys. Legasic, makers of fine jewelry. As we're going to get this second half underway, Till. And if you're, uh, if you're the USC coach, hopefully you've addressed those box out issues. Yeah, I'm sure he would have a chat about that. Back in that flex offense and, oh. They really look like they're targeting Sean Woods. 
Yeah, Keisha Lee, she has uh, got a nice seal down there in the post. Good find. Had three on her and drew the foul. Zone in the uh, baseline out of bounds. Ooh. Oh. Okay, over the back. It's going to be called on Keisha Lee. That's her second foul. Good box out by Sian Woods. Giving away a couple of inches as Lady Rollers. Let's see if they can. Look at the front court here. Horn screen away. What a oh, nice little split. Sean Woods sort of splitting two defenders. Yeah, good take. It's going to earn a couple. Oh, nice to see that go down. She had the had the angle. She'll go to the line for a couple. I feel like Sean Woods is really a barometer for the Lady Rollers. When she's playing well, they look really, really good. Can't make either of those those free throws though. And uh, USC with the rebound into the front court. I feel like the intensity of this game just went up a notch. Till yeah, good response from USC. Rollers. Oh, nice take, but yeah. Oh, it pops out. Talia couldn't. Finish with the left. There goes Luna Castro again, and that one goes down. One for one this half. She'll be happy to see that go down. <laughs> yeah, that's going to feel a bit, a bit better for her. Definitely. So, uh, you had a 10 point lead 43 33. I've, I've probably got to just get used to not calling the score out so much as we've got this great scoreboard here set up by our new. Our new tech whiz and co-commentator, Andrew Big Dog White. Look at that. Of course, we, we, we'd be remiss not to give our former production manager, who? Stephen Fisher, a shout out who unfortunately left the country on Tuesday morning. Do they have the internet in England? Uh, maybe Josh Darr is tuning in. You never know. Knocks down the first. Was that a foul on the... I think it was a foul on the three. Okay. Should have been paying attention. Well, yeah, we were too busy while we talking about fish. <laughs> I was talking about that scoreboard. It gets all three, so... That's one way to do it. 36. Yeah. 43, 36. Eight minutes, 25 to go. Third quarter. Nice oh. little in-out. Oh, Ooh, that was... Come on. That was tidy. Mora. Had a little something for the coach or someone on the bench there. Oh. So, yeah, that's that move I've been working on. You told me not to do it. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to get in. Get in her grill. <laughs> little in out, crossover, step back. Ooh. Oh, hey. Good. Good to see former Gold Coast Junior roller. Helen's Vale High. Helen's Vale High stalwart <laughs> Toby Zaremba. Victorian. At 41 years young, still playing in the QBL. Got to give him credit for that. Oh, right on the death. Oh, it's. Long yeah. rebound. USC a little discombobulated on that, that possession. Another three. And a good box out. Rollers with the ball. Up nine. Cassie Dover would really like to see this lead push out to about 15 to 17. Give him a bit of breathing room. Patrick exploring. A little hard on the front iron there. On back iron, I should say. USC... On the break. Oh, nice take. She used the body. 
Uh, not much Yarn Woods could have done there. I think she did pretty good, played pretty good defense. And we're back to a seven, seven point game. With 6.58 to go. Oh, Woods. Ariana Woods, she's taken a lot of the pressure off Luna Castro this uh, this game because she is scoring at will at the moment, and that's a nice turnaround from Keisha Lee. That was a nice little step back. It was. Oh. Reminiscent of the one and only Dirk Nowitzki. So See what Ariana's got. I'm going to let her shoot that one. Oh. She gets mm. her own rebound. Still exploring. Oh, they want to leave her alone. Oh. Oh, good hustle there by Patrick. Giving the Lady Rollers another possession. Luna Castro for three. Oh. Here goes Luna Castro getting in on it. She'll be happy to see that one go down. Good take there by the USC girls. Wormsley probably a little unlucky. <laughs> Coach Dover is uh, telling Susanna to have her hands up there as someone's running at a full speed. You know, I think we need to take some bets on whether Toby Zaremba is going to be rocking the Dunlop volleys tonight or not. <laughs> He'll have short shorts on, I know that much. Oh, is he coming to join us in the commentary box? Interview. Oh, here we go. Oh, Toby, good to see you, mate. How are you feeling tonight? Are you up for, up for a big game? Oh, he doesn't no want to talk. <laughs> Half time. Good to see you back in the roller dome. Patrick caught out there, found Wormsley. The clock starts to dwindle. And they got to break out Abbott. Doesn't have the foot speed in that situation. Yeah, so Bianca Spot Abbott. A shot and knocks it down. A couple of pieces of the iron. Good take from Mora. She got an end one there. Next one rolls will be in the bonus. As Mora goes to the line to try and make three the old fashioned way. There's nothing but net there. Plenty of rollers sort of keeping this lead out till to about, about eight or ten. Comfortable. Like I said, I'm sure Cassie Dover would be feeling a little bit better about herself if they could push it out to 15 or 20. But both teams playing a very spirited game. I uh, like what I see him from the Lady Rollers. Nice pass there. Yeah, bit of a breakdown on the defensive end for USC, and the coach doesn't like that, so he's going to remind them about it. Hopefully yeah. improve it. Yeah, they, they sort of gave up on that possession, didn't they? Well, that's like probably two or three possessions where they've, there's no one been on, on Ariana. Leading the scoring, pretty much the hot hand for the Lady Rollers, and they're uh, not playing defense on us, so that's got to be at least an issue that's worth addressing. And it's good to see, you know, the crowd still filing in halfway through the third quarter in the ladies' game on a Friday night. Down. It is. It's amazing when you string a few wins together, people come out in droves. And of course, once again, this wonderful production 
and this program couldn't be possible without the wonderful sponsors we have at our cross promotions obviously name your right sponsor big shout out to billy for getting involved in gold coast basketball legacy makers of fine jewelry sony obviously providing us with some gear to help get this stream off the ground so wherever you're watching out there hope you're enjoying it it's 4 30 30 to go in the third quarter rollers up 11. USC with the ball. Danger times, you'd think, for USC, Till. Oh, good finish. Oh, just like that. Took the bump and uh, stayed on balance and gets an extra one. Middle penetration there. Probably the letdown for the Lady Rollers. No bounce free throw. Can't make that. So that, oh, just gave it to him. So, Rip City have uh, come out of that timeout in a zone. Forced the turnover straight away. Oh, oh kind of lost the footing there. Oh. That's another three from Talia. What's her name? A little bit of a bit of, bit of sweat on the floor there, probably. Not the conventional way to get a, a wide open shot, but they'll take it. The old penguin slide. Just like that, you know, we've got ourselves a six point game, Till. Yeah, Rip City have done that a few times. Let's see if they can uh, tighten up the screws at the defensive end and get it back so yeah they are in a zone here so that's the change that coach decided to make yeah. a bit more structure and, uh, yeah good good switch up there by the USC coach you know Kelly Patrick from the top of the key that looks like her shot yeah well done Kelly Patrick she's straight into that triple threat Pressure from Wormsley, making the handle a little Good tough. recovery there too from Patrick. I love the way the, uh, that was a, I was to say, I love the way the rollers rotate on defense. They really pack the paint. If someone drives, there's two or three lady rollers going to, to help. A little stagnant on offense at the moment. Nice little in out. Oh. Great help defense there on the on the weak side by the USC girls. And there's that three to get it back to four. Make it three. 54. 57. Just like that, we've got a three-point game, too. No worries, Jimmy. We can do that. <laughs> so 2.20 to go. Three-point game. Rip City is hanging around after an explosive first quarter by the Lady Rollers. Sean Woods from elbow. That's a big three. Sixty fifty four. Drive there, Roop City, tough way up. Brings it back to four. Minute thirty nine to go. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Lena Castro exploring down the lane, splits two defenders. Great finish there. 
couple of good buckets from USC, but <coughs> Gold Coast able to, pardon me, respond. Ooh. And there's another one from Keisha Lee with a one dribble. Keisha Lee with a line drive from the elbow. <laughs> we got a minute left here, Mora. Oh, that's a nice dump. And the two Lady Rollers imports combining very well there. Yeah, they've made a... <coughs> oh, Warnsley. Oh! And the ref has called that on Susanna Warmsley as she stole the ball and looks bemused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. The thesaurus action that Tilby's given me tonight. She's fortified in a bemused look right now. <laughs> but yeah, the lady rollers have kind of settled in against the USC zone. So it's kind of a matchup zone that middle penetration seems to open it right up and Ariana Moore has done that a couple of times to an easy uh, bounce pass last time to Luna Castro. Uh, she she makes the first. Yeah, she makes it first. Brings it back to five. Hope you guys are enjoying the, the webcast out there, the game, wherever you are watching. 45 seconds to go, four points in it. Very competitive, spirited game. Oh, Luna Castro. Not, qu not quite handling that pass. Great job by Sean Woods to get back. Lady Rollers playing beautiful team basketball, passing the ball around. Sean Woods from the land of plenty off the front iron. That's a bit of a track meet out there at the moment, Till. Yeah. The clock's running down. It'd be smart to go for the last shot here. Pace they're going, they could have got three in. Sian felt like she got a whack on the head, but no I love. On a three, three quarter time till rolls up four. Just some stats here. Ariam Mora has got 16 for the Lady Rollers. Lina Castro, 13, nine rebounds, five assists. She's working on a beautiful game there. The Rip City, Palvast has 21. Lee with 14 and seven. Lady Rollers still shooting a solid 38% from the three point line. 10 for 26 for the game. I think if you uh, if you offered that to Coach Dover at the start of the start of the game, she'd probably take that. Well, is it thirty-eight percent from from the land of plenty, and almost fifty percent, forty-eight percent on the twos. That's some solid percentages. I think the telling stat. Might be the offensive rebounds. We'll just have a quick look at that. So on the O boards, well, rebounds in general. Now yeah, on the O boards particularly, Lady Rollers have got seven. USC only got two. A lot of them. Majority of them probably came in that first quarter. Hope you're enjoying the. The broadcast out there, guys, obviously can't be brought to you without the wonderful support from our sponsors, Cross Promotions. Keyscan Radiology Clinics, MG Southport, Legastics, Makers of Fine Jewelry, Sony, Dick Foss Dunn, Unite Basketball, Never Ever Studios, all the wonderful sponsors that help make this QBL program what it is. As we roll into the last quarter, Rollers up four. And you would have to think on the home floor, you'd back the rollers in to get this done. 
Nice passing by the Lady Rollers. They really share the ball well. Mora for three. Mora having a way tonight. That was a great possession. There's about four or five passes oh, there. In and out, in and out. I'd pull up. Oh. Look how unselfish they are, mate. Luna Castro wide open. Better than me. <laughs> well, we did have to play with Adam Dara. <laughs> Shout out to You're Ads. Me, mate. That bloke used to pass the ball towards the rim. It was open. Oh, good take. No, it doesn't count. Oh, well. Seven point game. So USC with the ball, seven points in it, nine minutes to go in the last quarter. Lady Rollers have led the whole way. Give me that rebound. Yeah, big rebound there by Mora. Wormsley for three, in and out. Yank your Abbott for USC with a big rebound. Early post up off the front iron. Great save. Normally a dangerous play, but Sian Woods was able to knock it to Wormsley as that one went out of bounds. Yeah, all the all those 50-50 balls, the one percenters, the rollers have been all over those ones tonight. Sian Woods measures the triple from the corner off the front iron. Oh. Another offensive rebound. Goes begging. Luna Castro is going to pick up a foul there. Yeah. <clears throat> Going to the line. Tisha Lee takes a rest. Jasmine Miller checking in. Shivana, she's probably got 23 by now. Well, that one would have been 23. So 23, good night for Shivana Pulver. Has been the aggressive one for the USC team tonight. As Luna Castro exploring her options. Oh, that one's going to... Bit of scrappy there. USC come away with the ball. It's good to see both teams getting after it, Tilt. Really competing out there. Five point game. Seven minutes 45 to go. You know, if you're the rollers, you don't want to. Give USC a sniff. Some thrifty hands there, and Mora brings the ball back down the court. It's all going in for Mora tonight. Tough Went finish. To that was a tough finish. Miller read it, really, but Mora, Mora was still able to finish. Oh, thought about thought about that, didn't she? Oh. Oh, hey, hey. Oh. And it still goes in. Had a little one, two, three on the catch. Knocks it down, and we got a four-point game. Oh, nice There's little hesitation. Moore has been sensational tonight. She's got 19 points still to lead nice. all, all scorers for the Rollers. Nice. Don't leave Shivana. She's the hot hand and she knocks it down again. Yeah, Pelvas now has 26. Yeah, that's a night out. She's uh, She's been a thorn in the roller's side. There's no doubt about it. Luna Castro, can she reply? <laughs> yes, she can. Three, 
A tough night for Luna Castro. She'd be happy to see that one go down. Oh, she's had a lot better second half at the offensive end. Oh, Miller. Lefty finish. Also, he took the referees out of the equation there. Yeah. Deciding to keep it in. I just love the way the lady rollers pass the ball, mate. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's all going in. Patrick. Yeah, that was a great finish. Wearing the D like a winter coat. Still finishing. There are a few winter coats floating around. It's unusually cold for the sunny Gold Coast this time of year. Carly Patrick converts. I love that. We're back to nine points. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good sequence for the Lady Rollers. Oh, nice little take. Oh. No. You can't shoot that. <laughs> From the weak side. Great block there by Mora. That's those rotations. That you see the Lady Rollers rotating well on defense, communicating, doing all the right things. Pushed it out to nine. You think they could run away with it here, Till? That's a big shot. Savannah, she's had other ideas, but that one doesn't go down. Wormsley brings the ball in the front court. Rollers just need to be execute here, don't they? Yeah, well, uh, at this point, the uh, high pick and roll there with the two imports. Ali Patrick floats to the top of the key. Oh, we've got a run out here. An easy basket for USC. Nice find off the uh, miss there. So it's 77-70. Four minutes, 50 to go. Oh. Not again. It's a layup drill out there for Mora. I think I could have even scored that one. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> yeah. So it means some oh, no. footwork call there. There's been some big breakdowns on defense on the USC end. I think uh, really an on-ball screen, and uh, Moore is able to just turn the corner. Yeah, so a nine-point game, four minutes thirty. Rollers really in control. It's their game to lose. But the way they pass the ball, they play. Oh, great take by Patrick. That's how you step up in the fourth quarter. That's a great take from Carly Patrick. Just squaring up. The, that's what simple fundamentals. Hey? Where's the fundamentals? <laughs> I mean, there's BA. The Gold Coast legend Brian Ellis to say, you got to make your three throws. <laughs> and she does just that. So, Rip City with it all to do. Four minutes, ten to go. Rollers up. Lady Rollers up 12. Kick out. Inside out action. Oh. Three or four, the Lady Rollers going for it. Almost coughed it up, but great hustle there by Mora. Gets the ball back, and she's exploring. Hands the ball off to Luna Castro. That's just too easy. You can't give up the middle like that. Lady Rollers starting to take control. Yeah, nice take by Luna Castro. Oh, there's another turnaround there from Keisha Lee. She's limping on the way back down. She's been carrying a lot of the load. Her, her and Palvast have been the, the two scorers for USC. Lady Rollers just content to be patient, get a good shot. Wormsley at the top of the key. Shot clock running down. Ooh. Yeah, Ambrose got that high shooting action. Makes it a little bit 
more of a test from distance. So it's 84-72. Two minutes 50 to go. You'd back the Lady Rollers from here. Luna Castro fighting hard on the offensive glass. Can't come up with it. <clears throat> She's had a good game all night, Talia. Pretty confident on the break to stay under control and finish, and she does it right there. And we got a 10 point game, and it's a timeout to Rip City. So some updated stats. Mora has got 25 and 7 rebounds. Great game by her. Luna Castro double double 18 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. Carly Carly. Patrick with 14 too. Yeah. That's a nice line. Yeah, she's she's contributed. Everyone really, the girls have been playing a very well-rounded game. Well, at the other end, other side of the uh, 29, for, she's played every uh, second of the game by the looks of it. Yeah, so. Palvas 29, three and three. She's done everything she can to get her side over the line. Talia Tupaya, she's had a nice night. Look at that, yeah. seven assists. 17, five and seven. It's a quality line. And and Keisha Lee, 16, nine and three. They've been the, carrying the load for USC. Once again, massive shout out going out to all our sponsors out there. Obviously the naming rights sponsor of the Gold Coast Rollers, Lenny Rollers Cross Promotions. Thanks for all your support, MG Southport, Legasics, makers of fine jewelry. Good to see a bunch of them in the house. Sony, obviously, great to see Sony getting on board this year. Oh, a little sloppy there with the Lady Rollers. They turn the ball over. This game's not over yet. We've got a 10-point game, two minutes to go. Don't want to be giving up, turning the ball over and giving the USC extra possessions. That was a good contest there, and the Lady Rollers come up with a rebound. Wormsley exploring the baseline, gets a nice nice little dump to Luna Castro. She gets bumped, no foul called. <laughs> Referees have uh, put away Let, the whistle. Letting them play. Oh, nice wheeling oh. and dealing. Not getting much from the referees there, but that was a good defense to the Lady Rollers. Wormsley... A little bit heavy on that. This game's really become a track meet till in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Probably the only way that USC were going to get back in it if it was at that tempo. So, oh, Mora got a bail out there. Trying to hold it up and uh, use the clock. It's definitely uh, to Gold Coast advantage to use the full 24. So, a minute 22 to go. Rollers up 10. Just need to be smart with the ball here. Get a good shot. Oh, exploring, coming down the lane. Mora, nice little split there off the pick and roll. She is going to be reoccurring in their nightmares tonight. It's fortifying her position in their nightmares. <laughs> she has been a very tough cover for USC, Ariana Mora. So a minute 12 to go, 10 point game, 84-74, Lady Rollers in control. Luna Castro fading on the baseline, Ooh, one step from. Couldn't get it to drop though. Great effort there by Mora. You know, a staple of the Lady Rollers performance tonight has just been the hustle, hasn't it? They've been first to the glass. Offensive rebounds particularly notable in that first half. Getting after it, playing with confidently. And like I said earlier on, Till, I would not want to be seeing that Lady Rollers green uniform come playoff time. I think they're in... They're in position to do some real damage. You know, splitting the, the road double last weekend, going down to a to a, a solid 
Townsville team and then getting the job done, I think, against Cairns. Might have been the other way around. I can't remember. This one's uh, going to be put to bed. Probably a silly foul, really. <laughs> the uh, aggressive play of Shivana Culvert all night has been the shining light for USC. Yeah, she's a tough cover. Can't hit the first, though. With 15 seconds to go, Lady Rollers up nine. And this is going to be a solid win for the Lady Rollers, and that'll. I think they've only lost two games now, or something like that, until they're, they're right up there. They're right in the mix. Nine and four. There you go. Great wow. game. What a win. So Lady Rollers taking home the chocolates there with the nine points. And uh, you'd have to think Cassie Davis is going to be happy with it, how her team is looking yeah. with the uh, upcoming road schedule. I think they played Toowoomba, play Southwest again. Uh, okay, so both teams in their pool, if it's still the same as when I played 33 years ago. <laughs> the thing is, it's a balanced attack for the Lady Rollers. And the defense, a lot of handoff, switching defense, which, you know, you could see the USC were frustrated out there tonight. And uh, throughout, throughout four quarters, guess what? Defense is going to do it for you. And that's what Lady Rollers bring. So congrats to Lady Rollers. Uh, we'll be back for the men's game. They're about to get loose or confident, depending on how long you've been listening. Huh. I like sure, like Let's my, get fortified. <laughs> we're going to get fortified for the men's game. Great win by the Lady Rollers. We'll be back shortly, guys, with the tip-off of the men's game. Cross-promotion, Gold Coast Rollers versus the USC Rip City. We'll see you soon. <laughs> 